Hello everyone and welcome back to Lamelana 2 And we last left off we were lost as fuck It's Metroidvania when you not lost as fuck uh -huh. <laughs> Anyway as you might have noticed I'm running a gun and Dark is here with me as usual Poke 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 Yep very convenient uh <laughs> or not. Like, uh... Yes. Okay. I guess she doesn't want to. Whee! She's ticklish in her sleep. Maybe. But it's not. Alright, we don't have that yet. There's a lot of, really, there's a lot of, the, of this area we haven't explored yet. No say. Of course, it would work a lot better if you stop falling. Yeah, you know, maybe. What Ouch. Else? The ship is known as the Spiral Boat. Seals protect the Spiral of Life and the Spiral of Hell. The two seals hidden by falling water. One of them seals the spiral boat. Hmm. There's a boat there. Hmm. There's also this. I know, Glad I already knew about them, huh? We can't actually get up there because double jump. But other one. A path leading outside, however, it leads to a fall off a precipice so that none may escape. Indeed. Hmm. Also, this. Varuna Idol. Thought to be an idol of a supreme deity of ancient Indian mythology, Varuna. Known as the guardian of death and terminus, for he guards the westerly direction with which they are associated. Hmm. Yeah, we can just walk past that one. Cavern. Cavern. Yep. There's only really one reason why we're here and I'm surprised I didn't come here earlier. The Aeneid spoke of searing light endured by the dwarves, of what is known as the sun. Those who seek must speak the name of Sol. Hmm. So I think they're supposed to be one of the uh, outfit chests here, I think. Uh, yeah, there it is. I already have all the outfits, but you know. Impressive, but you kind of already have it. Also. Yeah, um, don't don't take one step further there. <laughs> what? Not even your ninja training so save you from that one? Nope. Okay then. I don't have cat. Uh, I mean, I guess I technically am immune to fall damage. I don't think. Oh one. Just wanna go. But how do we get that now? See those markings there? Ow. How in there? I'm gonna go heal and save before I go further there. Before you do something else stupid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm also gonna mark that we got that. Probably for the version of minor details. Alright, I can use it. 
Hey, are you awake yet? No. No, she's too busy fantasizing about uh, us. main character. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, yeah. I can actually just stupid freaking Asad. Did you have anything useful? Not yet. Nothing we can afford at least, that's for sure. Alright, this place. Jeez, huh? Yep. Can't really do this one yet, though, but you know. Yes, it will be there later. For now, let's go this way. Haven't been here in a while, huh? Ye who seek the icy treetop, acquire the power to surpass Nidhogg. Only those who swing around the icy pillar will reach the icy treetop. Hmm. The branch lands on the dear children who were punished for imitating the mother's power. Lie beyond. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, well, we kind of already. That was so close. Yep. Well, delay to death. Delay to death. Teleport. <laughs> that was a little too close, Ryan. You could say so. Yeah, going up there is really annoying. Well, you know, we kinda have to. Actually, while I'm here... No, not that, not this time. Pass it here. It's Sidra, huh? We didn't have that one, apparently. Huh. Have, I, have I not purchased the pepper? I, I guess yeah, I haven't. Did you have something? Oh, yeah, I haven't bought the pistol yet. I probably should. <laughs> well, while we're here. Your turn. Ah. Sidro, huh? A <laughs> race ancient. Well, that's helpful. Sidro is the eldest of the village merchants. Slow to catch on to his village becoming a tourist destination, he peddles seemingly out of place goods that are perfect for ruins exploration. How's he only 78? I called doubt on that. Also ancient somehow, but only 35. Modro is a young village merchant who can found in a village to turn tourist destination selling weapons with exuberance. He insists they're no more than souvenirs. <laughs> souvenirs. Oh, what? Let's go back here. Oh, I need a paper, though. 
Suena a Red Dead and Raider, actually. No es fortisario, Tom. Ja. Eh. It worked. I'm just gonna wait. That was extremely lucky. I was kinda ready for it this time. Got my hands on a treasure map that read proceed 50 feet ahead of the sniping spot. Then I stop and realize I'm stuck in here. Damn it, must have been a trap. I mean that sniping spot. <laughs> Life sigil acquired! Oh boy, so much we can do with that! I'm gonna mark that right away. Cool. Hey boss, she just casually making sushi in the middle of a labyrinth. Well, yeah. And snoozing. Like father, like daughter. Indeed. Speaking of things we can do now that we have the life sigil, remember the sigil over here? Well, actually, both sigils over here. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, hey, she's awake. I slept great. Really well, so I'm feeling great. I was gonna go check some more stuff. How about it? Since dragging all my equipment around is such a hassle, I left some of my stuff behind, so I'd prefer not to go anywhere too sketchy. Um, sure, can you go check the corridor of blood? <laughs> what? That sounds scary. Blood? So it's like bloody? Alright, I'm kinda scared, but I'll check it out. <laughs> what? Did you just slither up a wall? Well, yeah. Okay then, Mulbrook. Yay, it's finally open. Ice Cloak! Boy, is that useful, yeah? And we also should be able to get this thing now. I don't remember which convention was required in this room, but usually when there's a red eye, it means there's something you can get with a... with a mantra chant. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Step together. So, this. Hmm. Clever. Check them! We have two of them. Don't lose them. <laughs> Seriously. I'm pretty sure there isn't a shop that sells them in this game. Yikes. You can find them in some specific pods. Seriously, yikes. I mean, there might be a store that sells them and I might not remember it, but... Alright, I barely took any damage. <laughs> Oh well. I don't think I say nothing. Um, let's see, we did both of the life sigil things. I'm gonna go ahead and mark them because they are kind of, kind of useful, you know. Uh, where's the ice cloak? There it is. Oh yeah, do I look different? I do have the ice cloak on. <laughs> it's a bit more noticeable like that, but... Oh. Well, since I did get the paper... Then I'm gonna make something sneeze now. 
That's a word for it. That and there was also another live stage here, so might as well. Trippy as ever. Yep. He's gonna turn this thing around. And he's gonna jab you on the he head. Yep. <laughs> there we go. My spirits. Shortcut, technically. Also, manner speaking. also remember uh, how I mentioned that. Uh, what white spell starts with only die, take the slightest weight, or otherwise the, it would be like bad or something? Uh, sort of. See, if I do this. Ow! Yup. Does it reset if I. Yeah, okay. Because a weight is too heavy for a white pedestal. Do you know what isn't too heavy for a white pedestal? Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Actually, I think I need to grab this thing. Yeah. I should probably go heal first, but I can always teleport back. I'm gonna teleport back. Meet the unicorn! He sucks! Nani the fuck? Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Everywhere. But I can see some kind of kid way up ahead. It probably connects to another branch in area. Screw this, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you expect from the corridor of blood? Well, have you noticed that there is some blood everywhere when we are there? Hmm. Not in every direction at least. Mm -hmm. Sure, go check the shrine of the frost giants. That's so super cold. Okay, I'll find some place deep inside where you probably can't go. It probably won't be so cold deeper in. <laughs> you can't afford for the winter, but you know, why not it does. I mostly just wanted her to... And we get an item if we get her to go everywhere. Hmm. A very useful item as well. First... Um... Oh yeah. Back to this thing. Oh yeah, we need to twist this around. Hey, money! Shut up. All right. Topsy turvy. One money, we. So big. Bats! Bats are usually. are their usual pieces of shit, yes. Stop it! This work. That's an interesting uh, definition of unicorn, if I have to say. It 
It also deals a lot of damage. Yep. Which is why I'm choosing the hell out of it now that I remember how to. <laughs> If it works, then he thinks to do. Sadly, the Kaltrofs do like no damage. But yeah, hitting that thing on the head is a pain in the ass, so. <laughs> yeah. This might be slightly boring, but we do need to kill him. Got any good stories past the time? Um. um... <laughs> An Eskom mother decided. Uh, uh, decided to make a new enemy mod and is gonna put me in it, apparently. Because everyone wants to shoot at you, right? Well, I'm just gonna be the medic. Uh, everyone's definitely gonna shoot at you then. Everyone knows, shoot the medic first. No, everyone knows, don't mess with the white mage. Come on. Now don't mess with your white mage. Very much mess with the enemies. Like, literally, apparently I'm gonna be some kind of... Uh, Advent Captain or something that's gonna be a medic. We haven't gotten much into the specifics yet. And mm. let's be honest, by the time this is uploaded, it, the mod might already exist. I don't know. Probably. So, what kind of enemy, enemy would you be? Or I be? Well, obviously, the single most durable, close quarters centric thing in the game. You'd be a mutant berserker if if they were advent. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, excuse me while I just ignore your damage and get up close and personal. Oh, I hey, got hit hey. by my own caltrops. <laughs> well done. You hey, played there, yourself. There's another white pedestal there. Just as oh, planned. You know what time it is. Time to go heal. Got to. Oh, hi. It's me, I made it to the shrine of the Frost Giants. I was able to get into places I couldn't enter before by going through the corridor of love. Hmm. Nice call, there's some kind of boiler or something, but it's not working, it's not cold. Brr. Yeah, no, I'm going back to my tent. Anyway, hit the corridor of love and you can make it deep inside. Yes, we've already been there. Yeah, I am so glad they increased the healing speed. Yeah, that was easily the best part about the last game. Sitting there for a solid minute and a half waiting for your health to come back. Right. Now, what do Tantakamaga had a place? I heard it's connected to this immortal battlefield. Alright, I'll go check it out and find an entrance. Should we... Should we let her know that we've already been there as well? <laughs> Better have her fun as she slithers up the wall again. Yup. Anyway, um... Back here. She's a special flower. Yep. Alright, got that. Turn it, everything around again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
This time we go here. There's two more to find. No. What? Alright, well, I can just look here. Yeah. Anyway, I sort of remember where the other two are. Oh yeah, I don't remember. It's like there's a little asshole on the floor. Yeah, he got stuck there because it's not really... That room is not very good at being upside down. Is it really upside down? Or is it right side up? Yeah. What is upside down anyway? I'm so glad I know these things. Oh, hey, two of the seals are broken. So what the fuck was that? Nedja does not appreciate being whacked. Run, we already spoke to that one. And we need to turn things upside down again. Just, just let me through. Alright, that's better. Oh hey, we had unread this one. Glacial Lavolasus. Chicanery is magical. He will use it to pursue his enemies, even in death. I don't remember what that one is, but... Oh yeah. In the corner of that. Yeah. Cause you know we have we have the ray scanner. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed it. So yeah, so now every tablet tells us where who wrote that. That is my perception skill. Mm hmm? Just shows you my perception skill. Hey, you plan to go all the way down, right? No. What killed you? The pot falling on me right after I fell on the ground. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's kind of hilarious. Yeah, the first time it happens. Which luckily is not that hard to avoid once you know about it. But... I mean, the odds of it happening are statistically quite low. Oh wait, I, I was not supposed to turn it to turn that around. Whoop. And you say the odds of that happening are low, but the slides are set up perfectly so you fall right under that pole. <laughs> nah. Candle like that. Don't. Simple as that, right? Yeah, totally. What is really? <sighs> we avoided it. The worst part is I just realized I could have done this. And teleport into the exact same room. Well done. You played yourself. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's me. I found the entrance to the Takamagahara Shrine. And what do you know? It was connected to the gate to the Rose of Jigrasil. I was able to scuttle right up, but are you gonna be able to climb up here? You might be able to make it if you can grab onto the wall and just kinda jump off. Anyway, I'll go inside. Yeah, she didn't just go. Uh, she, she didn't just fuck right off this time. Yeah. It's me. I made it deeper into the Takamagahara shrine. It looks like someone has already <laughs> destroyed a lot of the walls. Already been here, haven't you? 
I tried going in a bit further, but there was lava and spinning floors and whatnot. If you keep going further down, there should be a gate leading even further in. But I guess you already knew that. Hmm. I think she's a <laughs> little myth. But, but yeah, they made a specific message for them. Well, book is adorable. Yes. I think you're supposed to jump, Ran. No shit. Oh well, I'll go back for that one. No, there's just a punch, but... Remember this place? Maybe? The mantra that signifies him, huh? It's an Egyptian area after all. Yeah. La Malana is a game that very much benefits from knowing your mythologies. Yep. Right. Go and unfortunately, again. while I know a good bit, I don't know that much. Alright, I don't. I need to not turn it upside down. Oh, come on! Yeah, 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 yeah. Ned Jed laughing at you. Like a little clo- like a little bed sheet wearing prick it is. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you think of when you see a med judge? Just, he's just wearing a bed sheet, that's all he's doing. Yeah. There we go. Can we read this one? I don't think you're yeah, supposed yeah, to well. pepper it. Well, it deserves to be pepper! Would you like some salt with that pepper? No, I already have enough. <laughs> and your supply grows! Yeah, it never really seems to go down. It's Especially not salt. in this game. Yay, it's open! Hey, you have to get up there somehow. Yeah. However, shall you do that? I wonder. Just have to make sure not to get dropped down by those assholes. Another way to get up there. Can't you wall cling then jump to the opposite wall and wall cling? That no it doesn't get that high. It only ever goes it only ever goes down going Aww. Well I guess I'll need to get double jump for that one. Which means we're going somewhere else. Yay Just borrow one of Moldbrook's feathers. She's got funny. Actually, speaking of Morbrook... Yeah, what? She did finish Double... exploring the Takamaga Hero Shrine. Yeah, what? Triple, quadruple jump because of all the feathers? Something like that. Well, cheater. I'm out of places I can go with this equipment, so I'm gonna stay here. I want my Faust's place on my way back. I borrowed some materials with information on Eglena from him. I borrowed this stuff and help you with knowledge. Oh yeah, by the way, I won't be going out investigating anymore, so take my shoes. They're sleep-proof, mm -hmm. even on snow or ice. I have a spare pair anyway. She wiggles her little toes! <laughs> As I was say, did she just fucking wiggle her toes? Snowshoes acquired. Don't worry, they don't stink. Mm -hmm. 
gonna get some sleep. Of course she is. <laughs> I smell a bomb. What the fuck? Ah uh, yes, Molbrook. Well, we have a few uh, places oh we can my, go now, but oh my gosh, hmm? she's such a trip. She's such a trip. Yep. For now, though, I hope you all have fun, and we'll see you <sighs> next time. Goodbye. Later.